Sony, on the other hand, they're like, ain't no, this ain't, never mind light. We're going heavy. Yeah. Let's just make something heavy. Crazy. Heavy. You know? They got a car. They're like, yeah. Sony, we got a car. I love Sony. I just, for me, it's a nostalgia. It's a youngster. I'm a youngster when I think about Sony. I, I de-age 20 years. I think about Sony. Really? Yes. Don't make me go into it, Will. I've done it too many times on this show. Don't make me say it. Don't make me say the T word. Trinitron. How dare you make me say it. Is that... That got me, that got me in the game, man. Back Is that then, your favorite, though? Sony product? No, it was probably... I would have... I mean, in that era, it was like a Walkman or something, but the Trinitron, because it had direct competitors, Panasonic wasn't really heavy in the personal cassette player space at the time until they came out with the shock stuff and the sports stuff and then the discmans that wouldn't skip shockwave gotta have you had to have that but before that you went over to somebody's house for the record i didn't even have the trinitron i had a toshiba because we wanted to value point right trying to save a few bucks i explained this to you too many times on the show i know I had the toshiba the value point but you go over to a person's house, they have the Trinitron, and the marketing would be talking about color. Be saying, it's got that, it's got those skin tones, it's got the right color on the tube. Mm -hmm. You see that? So you knew the person was a discerning viewer because they, they spent a few extra on the Trinitron of the time. Mm. So, but then you had the PlayStation, iconic, never mind the Walkman, which I mentioned. And I'll go a step further, Will. I'll kill you on this one. Mini disc. I had a mini disc, mm. dude. Come on, give me some vibes right now. Bring it up on the screen. Not any disc. How dare you? That's the one. Mini disc. I'll show you which one I had, okay? Just real quick. Right over there. MZ. No, mine was better. Scroll down a little bit. Mine was the premium model of that. No, maybe it was that one with the screen on it. Scroll a little bit. Give me one more scroll real quick. Yes, it was it was that one. Give me that MZR seven hundred on the left. Give me that real quick. Look at this. I had that. That's my mini disc player. I was recording. I was rewriting. It was. It was. Remember the Matrix? Uh -huh. Neo. This can't be everything. What am I? He's at the computer. He falls. At, you know. Yeah. And then the, the people come to pick up the discs at his door. It's like some cool yeah. uh, cyberpunk looking folks yeah. at the door. And he's, he's got things that look like mini discs, I believe, that they exchange. In the, in the book. Yes. With the pages all. I don't out. know what. The, yeah. This can't be every. This isn't real. <laughs> Did he say that? No, I don't know. And from and I remember just thinking the mini disc player was very sci-fi when I looked at those little discs in the plastic case. It just re felt yeah, really sci-fi. Really cool. Because before it had the casing on it, it was always don't scratch the disc. Do you remember that situation? Don't scratch the disc. Anyway, Sony, you see how it's all wrapped up for me, the positive vibes. Then you bring forth the Vision S sedan, which I gotta say. First crack at it? First swing at it? Come on now, Will. Tell me what you got. What do you think of this vehicle? The look, the the the, the feeling you're getting? I would drive it. Is that right? Yes. You would place your hands on that steering wheel. <laughs> I would. What else would you do in there, Will? <laughs> you don't want to know. Well, you just you'd push the pedal, of course you would. It's a four seater. The back seats look incredible. The back seats look as good as the front seats, I'll tell you. Entire glass on the top. Some people initially said it kind of had some Taycan vibes. A little bit, yeah. There's a little bit of it. Less so on the rear end, more sort of on the front side. The interesting he thing here is this is a collaboration project, this vehicle, this concept. It's a concept, but it looks like a, it, it looks 
a lot closer to a finished product than what you would typically see at CES in the form of concept cars. And part of that, I think, is because it was a partnership between various industry leaders, including Bosch, Continental, Genetics, NVIDIA, Magna. Now, Magna, Magna's around the corner over here. They, they have been making parts and platforms for the automotive industry for a really long time. Big player, big timers. And the thinking here is they could build a platform around this that then other technology companies could plug into. Mm. So here's what I mean to say. Think of the car as a platform. Well, like an Android, like an OS. And then Sony comes along and says, we want to do our take on top of the platform. So you have the, char you have the batteries, the charging infrastructure, the, those mechanical pieces. But then we sort of optimize the inside experience, the electronic components, the mm. technology, the software, things like this. Because increasingly, these are becoming technology products. I mean, we're talking about Consumer Electronics Show. And we're talking a lot about cars now. Of course, Tesla started the whole thing. See how the rear seats are comfy too? Mm -hmm. You could be back there, Will. Yeah. Watching a the screen there. It would be pretty comfortable. Okay, coming via TechCrunch, the car is a bit surprising, but fits with Sony's current strategy. Over the last generation, Sony started building and selling key technologies as a supplier. Sony camera sensors are found in many leading smartphones, including the iPhone Pro. 11 Pro, they mean to say. So it's kind of like Sony's becoming comfortable with the idea of interfacing with other brands and companies in the technological space here. Mm -hmm. That they're okay if, hey, we're teaming up with NVIDIA or Magna or whoever. Right. That's fine. And we can do better, bigger things together than independently. And that becomes interesting. So I think most people, this was kind of the story the first day of CES, this was the one I was seeing mostly on social media. <clears throat> Two reasons. Obviously, Sony never put their, their name, never put a badge on a thing that moves. I guess that's not true. The Ibo moves. The dog. Yeah. That moves. But you don't drive it. No. Drives itself. They never put their name on a car before, so that was a bit of a shock to the system. And then second, I think people genuinely like the car, which is tough because... You know how this goes. You, 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 you go in there, you draw some lines, and people love it or they hate it. Often when people see a, a new form, there's a little regurgitation. Yeah. This is not that. I mean, granted, it's it kind of it obviously takes inspiration from stuff that people mm -hmm. like. They played a little safe on this one. They play which, is, safe. which is a good move. They play it safe. Mm -hmm. Yeah. That's fine. I think it, it it's a nice mix of the future and the present and everything else. So congrats to Sony. That's cool. What a fun project. If I was if you if if you were a guy like you, you were working at Sony and say, Well, we want to put you on a we're gonna do a car for CES. We want to put you on it. Yeah. That's fun. It's a great reveal, too. It just exciting. came out of nowhere. Came out of nowhere. Surprised everyone. You you get to walk out there. The all the 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 oohs and the ahs. Yeah. Ooh. Sony. And then Willie Do standing there. He's in. Yeah, that's me. I've been working. <laughs> that's the car. I've been yep. working. Yeah. I've been working. Yeah. 